Welcome back to Tar Heel Talks. Today I am joined by Joey Lancelotti of Carolina Baseball. Happy to have you, Joey. Thank you for having me. So your team's season opener is set to be on Friday. What is the feeling heading into opening weekend after last season got cut short? Oh, yeah, it's definitely exciting. Um, I know for people like personally me, I had an injury in the fall, so I've pitched, I think, eight innings since last March. So, like, personally, I haven't been on the field forever. A lot of these guys, you know, it's been 10 months since they've been in a real game against a different uniform. So it definitely brings a uh, like a new crazy feeling to opening day this year. So you mentioned that injury, you actually had surgery on your hip and you were recently cleared. So tell me more about that decision to get surgery and how rehab has gone. So I was having like pain like 2018. So it's been a while now and I just never really wanted to go through the process and finally gave in this fall. Um, could be my last year, you know, here. And I was like, I, I want to make the best out of it. Like I don't want to play you know, hindering an injury anymore. So I finally decided to like October and it was definitely something that, you know, it was a hard decision because I knew it would be a long time out of baseball and that was kind of hard. And um, I finally decided to, and you know, it, it was the best decision I've made in a while. Um, they told me five to six months when I was at the hospital um, would be my recovery the day after. And I got cleared in three months and 10 days. And so that was like so exciting. And now being back out in the field, um, ready for opening day like I wasn't really anticipating playing until a month or two from now so um, yeah now looking back on it, it was an awesome decision and I'm so excited to be able to join the team this weekend. What has the lead up to this season been like and how has it been different from past years? Oh uh, yeah it's been it's been kind of crazy um, following protocol and stuff has definitely made practices interesting uh, definitely getting closer to the guys is challenging because we're not allowed to be, you know, breaking a bubble and not supposed to go out of like the guys you're living with sometimes or hanging out with masks and just, you know, every day, even off the field life definitely got a lot different with our team in general. So it was definitely harder, um, you know, position players and pitchers practice separately a lot. Locker rooms were broken in half for the first um, whole semester, um, like showers or, you know, you can only have a couple guys in the shower at a time. Like everything's kind of enclosed now and it made it it broke up some you know opportunities to get closer to the guys at first and I think we've done a great job of getting closer and um I think at this point we're you know as close as it gets so we don't notice that anymore but at first that was definitely uh it was definitely weird so this is the first time in your career at Carolina that entering the season the team is not ranked in the top 50 and currently not projected to make a regional so how has that motivated your team? Because I know your entire career here, you've either been a game away from Omaha, been at Omaha. So what has that been like? Yeah, it's been that's been uh, that's been something. Uh, definitely something to motivate us, and definitely a common thing brought up um, during speeches and stuff by the coaches. And I think it's gonna I think it's gonna help us in the long run. Um, speaking about the year we went to Omaha, uh, that year we started seven and seven, and that was like everyone kind of put us put us aside and that we use that as motivation and we took that into Omaha and I think something similar is going to happen this year because there's so many guys that just have a chip on their shoulder right now. Um, so many older guys that came back that weren't, you know, weren't supposed to, that are just going to use that as fuel. Cause it's a, it could be their last year here. They want to win. And I think we're a lot better than some people think. And I'm, you know, pumped. I think it makes it even more fun to prove people wrong. And we have some young guys and some new guys going into roles that I think no one knows about. And it's really going to shock them. So last year was the first time you were in the hitting lineup and you finished with one of the top five batting averages on the team. So after a few years at Carolina being a pitcher only, how did you make your way into that lineup? Uh, yeah, so I um, I came in as a PO or a two-way guy. Um, got a good like bullpen role my freshman year. And they were like, Joe, like you're going to be one of our closers. Like there's not much we could do about like you need to stop thinking about hitting like you're a freshman that's gonna have a big role on the mound uh and you know two years went by not hitting and finally after my sophomore year yeah sophomore year uh, I was on the phone with coach Fox and we were kind of just you know talking having some fun on the phone uh, a couple months after the season was end uh over and he's like hey like we're gonna lose some big bats like that was the year Bush was leaving Bmar was leaving all those guys and um he's like what do you think about swinging it again because I kind of like was bugging him a little bit messing around 
and like I kind of was laughing about it, but like in the back of my head I was like all right let's do it and worked really hard with a um, hitting coach back home and uh yeah came in and was still a little like messing around with it but it, it was going really well um scrimmages preseason um I was having a lot of success and I was like coach like this is this is something I want to do and they really bought into it and believed in me and then I think I was batting fifth fourth or fifth opening day last year which was like crazy to me um so I was just uh, I can't even put in words that I felt like after two years of not hitting and um, the second game hitting like a walk-off home run was probably one of the best memories I've had at UNC, like which I never would have had if I would have stayed as a PO. So uh, it was definitely an awesome decision. So can fans expect to see you in that lineup again this season? I hope so. Yeah, I, um, I'm going to start hitting uh, hopefully this Monday because um, the hip stuff um, my main focus was get back on the mound, um, but I have I was hitting a lot in the preseason, um, had some success, and was definitely looking forward to hitting and stuff. But I want to you know take the first opening weekend to get back on the bump. But yeah, I'm definitely Monday. I'm going to start swinging it again, and hopefully uh, can find my way in there. And lastly, Joey, you're certainly one of the leaders on this team, but unlike a lot of other programs, Coach Forbes actually doesn't have captains. So how does this impact the team's leadership? And is this something carried down from Coach Fox or how does that work? Yeah, I, I've never had a named captain here um, my four years. Um, something I love because it gives people a chance to step up that aren't like named captains. I think a lot of times you have captains that kind of just forces three people to be the leader of the team where here it's, it's open. You could have a freshman that might not even play a lot, step up one day and, you know, tell some people what they're doing wrong and, but like in a good way. And I think that's awesome. Um, I would try to, you know, take on some leadership roles as early as sophomore year telling, um, you know, talking to some guys and just trying to, you know, improve myself and, you know, just pick some guys up, give some motivation. I think it gives everyone a chance. Um, like younger guys, stuff like that. So I actually love it. Um, I mean, there's some older guys that definitely, you know, take that captain role like to themselves, but um, like in a good way, like we have some older guys that are really good leaders and personally, like we'll all call them our captain, but it's not like named. But I think without having that name, it doesn't put all the pressure on two guys or three guys to be captains. It kind of anyone who wants to be can lead that day. So I, I love it. Thank you so much for joining me, Joey, and good luck yeah. with the series this weekend. No, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.